Episode 5, A Screaming Distraction. In this episode, we're going to cover noise issues. Hey there, Jack. I need you to get some compliance issues sorted out with a bunch of the sales reps. We need to make sure they get certain client information that's very pertinent to our overall distribution process. Okay, Don. Ugh. Man, I don't really want to deal with this right now. I bet I could just type it up and send it in a mass email. A few weeks later. What do you want, Don? Jack, I've noticed that a lot of the sales reps still ain't following with these compliance issues that we had. It's very important that you make sure to get this done. Apparently you sent just a mass email. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Everyone got it. There's a lot of issues with that. Can you please try to do a more direct approach with communicating this? Sure, Don, I'll take care of it. Hey guys, welcome to the group lunch. Um, I'm going to be presenting a slideshow that's going to go over some stuff that Don wanted me to cover with y'all. Make sure to follow through, follow it, read it. If you have any questions, send me an email. Enjoy the food. A few weeks later. Jack. Cereal. What's going on? I heard that you did a meeting where you just left the presentation running while people finagled. Yeah, I figured it, I told everyone to pay attention, you know, and... I went back to my office, took care of some things. Jack, there's still people not following through with it, and it's a very important issue. Can you please do me a favor and meet with the department heads, the team leaders, and make sure that they completely understand what we're trying to get accomplished here? Oh, sure thing, Don. So I'm glad Jack went over everything with you guys. Yeah, we had an awesome meeting and he uh, answered all our questions and went in depth with it. I didn't even get the email he originally sent out. I mean, I didn't even notice that he had a slideshow going on in the back during that lunch. Yeah, the lunch was kind of pointless. I was kind of confused on a few things on the slide. Well, I'm glad everything's clear now, guys. Go meet with your teams and follow in his lead and make sure you answer any questions about the new changes. Sure thing, Don. The end! So, in this, Jack was told to go ahead and let everyone know on the sales floors that there's new things that they need to get from clients. There's, just, there's a message that needs to be delivered. He decided to go ahead and deal with the message in a very quick manner, but not an effective manner, via email. They sent out a mass email, and that wasn't too effective. Email has a few issues, uh, mostly that some people don't check their email that regularly. Uh, there's no feedback. Um, these are noise issues. So he sent the message. Those were the noise issues, and the receiver didn't quite get the message. The audience that he was trying to get wasn't fully understood. Don brought it back to him, point, explained that it wasn't clear, do something more direct. So he tried to do a little group lunch to get everyone together. He presented it to them and then let them take in the information. This was more effective as he was able to make sure that people got the information, but he still wasn't allowing for any feedback. He also left the opportunity for distractions such as side conversation, the food, and those things. So that's all noise to the communication process. The further issue 
Actually, that was good. Uh, so then Don brings it back to him and says, hey, I, apparently a lot of things weren't clear about the new, you know, process. Can you please meet with the department heads and the supervisors directly and make sure they understand and they have any question that it's clear. So he did this and had a meeting, met with them individually, answered their questions, cleared it up. He avoided as much noise as possible, made sure that it was direct, the message was understood, received feedback, and processed everything. Don later met with everyone and followed up to make sure that everything was understood and made sure that they understood how to go about sharing this with everyone else. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Do you think this is a time? And welcome to episode six. And this one, Make the People Happy, we're going to be covering motivation and employee satisfaction. Man. You know, there's been a lot of issues coming up with the staff. People complaining about the facility, and some of the people have reported some performance issues. Hey Don, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've noticed that a lot of the salespersons complain about the environment. Have you heard anything about that? Well, Sherry, I've actually heard quite a bit about it. Many people have complained about the uncomfortableness of the desk, sitting for long periods of time, and all that. They've even heard a few complaints about being stuck in small cubicles and how you can't even really see anything except for the tiny four walls around you. People feel alone. We should discuss this in a meeting. I'm going to go talk to Jack. Sherry brought to my attention that performance goals haven't been being met at a fast enough rate. And she thinks this is due to certain issues the employees have with the environment that they're in at work. Yeah, Dawn, I feel the same. I've had a lot of people complain about how there isn't much team etiquette going on. I was thinking maybe we could do a few things to make people feel like they're more part of a team than ways to acknowledge their accomplishments. Let's get together and discuss this. Okay guys, so I think one way that we can help with people feeling more accomplished is if we set up some team coaching and maybe some like progress reports so we can set up a database that tracks all their sales and their records and then we can set them up with a training report. Great idea, Jack. I would like to start a wellness program. A lot of people are getting stressed or overwhelmed and some people have bad days on the sales force. I think if we set up a wellness program and organize certain health habits and maybe did some sponsoring around the building, setting up flyers and motivating people to get up and move around. Or we could even have a counselor on staff that can talk to people when they're having bad days. So I thought what we could do is instead of having cubicles now, we can have co-op desks set up so that people in certain teams can be in a more open environment and a more welcoming environment and they can coordinate with one another more effectively. I feel like this would give people a better sense of belonging. I would feel more comfortable at work. Yeah, guys, we would enjoy that. Boop, 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 boop.
All right. Now, the one thing I think that's very important is a lot of people don't feel like they get enough appreciation. If we set up some leaderboards, that way we can see who's doing the best and which teams are doing the best. And that way people can see that they're being praised for their alkalides. The end! All right. So... As you can see in this one, I was covering the different issues people tend to have involving work. Uh, everyone has needs. Yeah, we have the need to feel like we're part of a group, the need to feel that we're individuals, the need to feel like we're accomplishing goals and bettering ourselves. Uh, we have our health concerns. Um, and all this was covered. Starting a wellness program covers health concerns, which a lot of people have. So they set up uh, bulletins and flyers and little newsletters to talk about different health programs, even considered hiring a counselor so that if people need to talk to somebody, um, maybe even having better food options along the, around the facilities. They covered team meetings in uh, cubicles that were more open and cooperative based. That way people would have a better sense of belonging. Uh, weekly team meetings, getting together and discussing things as a unit uh, will make people feel like they're part of a team for the different collective groups. Um, and that need would be met. Uh, leaderboards, uh, people who are trying to feel accomplished or successful, uh, People want to have a feeling of accomplishment. So, in recognition, the progress reports, training reports, um, and leaderboards do a lot of that. Um, and people want to feel like they have, you know, the ability to grow or learn or develop new things. So, training reports help out a lot. So, people can see, well, this is how well I've been doing. Here are ways to improve. And these are my goals to be met. Team coaching goes back on the group mentality as well as self-actualization. And in that, we had our episode on motivation and employee satisfaction. Thank you very much.